Tell us the places that are being announced today for the Tour de Yorkshire 2019. So we're really pleased to be able to announce the eight start and finish towns uh, for next year's Tour de Yorkshire, which will be our fifth edition. So we've got Selby in no particular order. Selby, Doncaster, Bridlington, Scarborough, Beedale, uh, Barnsley, uh, Halifax and Leeds. Uh, and we've also been able to announce today that for 2020, we can already announce that Redcar will be either a start or a finish. Talk to me about Beedale. They've never had the Tour de Yorkshire before. What do you think that's going to be like? Then? Well, I think for Beedale, you know, the, the race has passed through Beedale before, uh, but to actually have a start or a finish in Beedale would be great for, uh, for that particular market town in that particular part of Hambleton in North Yorkshire. The Tour de Yorkshire has just been reclassified at NHC classification. What does that mean? Well, that's a great honour for us to get the upgrade to HC. It's one below world tour status. Um, so to have horse category um, for our race, uh, there are not many races in the world that have, in such a short period of time have gone from not existing to getting to HC status. Um, so that's almost unprecedented and we're really, really pleased about that. And in view of the cycling reforms that are going to come up in the next few years, um, that puts us in a good position. What can people really look forward to for the fifth edition? of the Tour de Yorkshire? Well, I think the people of Yorkshire will again create the most fantastic edition. We saw in the fourth edition how it was our biggest and best and most ambitious. And I think you'll see with the fifth one, it'll take it to another level. And we saw, obviously, the announcement for the world recently, and that's obviously going to be huge for Yorkshire. The Tour de Yorkshire really has epic status now, though, doesn't it? It does, and for many of the world's top riders, for both the men and the women, they'll want to come to Yorkshire next year for the Tour de Yorkshire to be able to ride on the routes that they'll be riding on for the World Championships, in some cases, later on next year.